two videos <laughs> consecutively. <sighs> Look at me. <laughs> I've been the night a long time. Anyways, if you're new, thank you so much for watching. My name is Tyson. I do reactions and videos and <laughs> reactions and vlogs. <laughs> Not successfully though. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So today we're gonna watch America's cheapest mother. That's a bold statement, but I'm not gonna say it. I was gonna say something my mom did, but I think that'll be too rude. <laughs> so let's check it out. That's a big house. How is she cheap? Huh? My kids are total cheapskates. They know we don't waste anything. You eat every bite of food on your plate. Pick they up every penny. Don't you look see. cheap. Good job, Mister. I'm Jordan Page, and I'm the ultimate cheapskate housewife. You want to sit here? Okay, you can sit here. A typical family of five can spend up to three thousand dollars a month on household necessities. Stop. Wait, did this guy just say three thousand dollars a month? Who spends three thousand dollars a month on household shit? Who? <laughs> Not my parents, that's for sure. Three thousand dollars on what? On a TV, maybe? A couch? Three thousand dollars. On what? Guys, you ready to eat some breakfast? But Jordan, a 27-year-old housewife in Utah, spends less than half of that. The juice, we water it down big time. One no. part. Okay, so I'm kind of confused because they said 3000 So half of 3000 is $1,500, which is basically somebody's salary. So how is she cheap? Let's, let's just let, let's just say I'm sorry. I'm just really confused. Juice to five parts water. You guys want some waffles? Yeah! It's all about oh. not wasting anything. And the way to do that is, we call it rationing. I'm going to give you guys some cereal, okay? We're going to give you 14. to make sense so now. Tell me when to stop. Ready? And remember, you need to eat all your Cheerios, or next time you only get 12. On a scale of 1 to 10, of being a cheapskate, 10 being the highest, I'd probably say I'm 11 or 12. Okay, Priya, you ready for your two lines of waffles? Yeah. Waffles are awesome because they have those lines, like a grid, and so Hutch is three, so he gets three lines of waffles, and I know that that's how much he can eat. I'm confused, wait. Mm -hmm. Huh? Okay, the... Normal people spend three thousand dollars a month. She is half of that. Let's say a thousand five hundred. What is she spending it on? If it's not food, maybe the clothes she has on could cost five hundred dollars. <laughs> because the, she's making her son count the amount of Cheerios he's gonna eat, and if he doesn't eat all, she's gonna take. She's only give him. She's only gonna give him twelve. And the waffles, waffles, whatever, whatever it's called, she's cutting it in half. That's that's not cheap. That's just being a bad mom. Here and we love it because it's free. While they're young and they don't eat very much, I freeze as much breast milk as possible so that when they're done, then I still have a few months worth frozen to stretch it that much farther. People a lot of times think some of my methods are a little extreme. Bacon's for Christmas. They think I'm a little crazy, but uh, I don't <sighs> know if I care <laughs> because it works. Oh How much toilet paper do you think Hut should have? Huh? Jordan has found some of the biggest savings in the bathroom, cutting her family's use of toilet paper from 300 rolls a year to only 40. The way to stretch your money is to make everything count. Three. Three? Should we do three? Okay, let's rip one. Three. How much do you think Daddy should use? Um, four. Jordan always harps on me for using too much toilet paper. Okay, let's try it. It's a sensitive subject. But she wants to at least try and make that roll go farther. Four. Oh, 
Awesome. Okay, now put that under daddy's. When I met Jordan, she would always oh find a way to get a deal on something. Shortly after we were married, an opportunity arose for us to build what we thought would be our forever home. Things changed with the economy really fast. And suddenly, we couldn't qualify for the loan for the house. But we had already built the house. Losing the house really triggered, in my opinion, her being an extreme cheapskate. Today, the Page family is financially no. Okay, I'm just confused as hell. I'm really confused because how much the toilet paper? It's not like a dollar for like a bag of toilet paper, like a large bag of toilet paper. I, I don't know, I checked it here in Europe. It's like, I think it's a dollar. How much is how much is it in America? A hundred, hundred and fifty dollars for a, a large roll of toilet paper. A hundred dollars, a thousand. Come on now. Anyways, now back on track, and their extreme saving measures allowed them to purchase a million dollar home. Ooh. But Jordan didn't spend nearly that much. The original owners bought it for over a million and we got it on short sale for about 450,000. Then we were scrappy and we sold the basement apartment to my parents for half. So we paid 225 for this huge, huge house that we love so much. They live a lifestyle that would lead one to believe that they're much more affluent than they are. She has an innate ability to be able to do that and I've always admired it. Because I'm willing to pretty much do anything to save a buck. I was just wondering if you guys had any food that you're not using, like leftovers. She's not oh. proud. It's like, hey, if you're no. going to make... <laughs> Look at the woman's face. She's like... She's in, like, a rich... Not rich, but, like, an upper middle class... Not upper middle class. A middle class area, and she's knocking on people's door, asking for food. Okay, but before I even talk about that... Let's talk about how she got the deal on the house. That was really good. That's like that's like some that I will applaud her on. Give her a tap on her back because that was really ingenious of getting the house so cheap. But they look like they're making a lot of money. Well, I mean enough to be middle class. I don't get it. But look at the woman's face though. She's like, huh? <laughs> you need to empty out your fridge bring it over people are still willing to give her food hey Chris how's it going I was actually wondering if you guys had any leftovers or any food that you're not using um I've got some lettuce <laughs> sometimes I'll give her um. eggs and sometimes some stuff from our garden but I know that she's very frugal and so I know she's probably going to put it to good use somehow. Hey, <laughs> Have a good one. Hey, bye. Bye. Jordan's monthly food bill comes out to a mere one hundred eighty dollars, wow. thanks to her creative money-saving solutions. No. Wait, 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 wait. A hundred and. I'm trying to do the math because that's basically. I think we spend roughly two hundred dollars on groceries a month. Maybe I don't know. I live off. I live off my parents. <laughs> but I mean, one hundred fifty dollars a month. How expensive are things in America? If she's already getting food from her neighbors, like, girl, priorities. $150 a month on groceries is a good amount of. Damn, America, shit man must be hella expensive. Let's continue. This is what I like to call an end loaf. <laughs> In our house, we go through a lot of bread, and a lot of people don't like to eat the heels of bread, but Bubba likes it, my kids love it, and it's still good, so. After a while, it makes an entire loaf worth. I like Jordan's it. Jordan's been trying to find out even more ways of being a cheapskate at home. So one of the ways that she tried was 
dashboard cookies. A neighbor of mine, she gave us some cookie dough <laughs> that was about to expire. I bake cookies without using any power, and it doesn't make your house hot. With the car temperature at 160 degrees, she's finished baking for free in two hours. And it's this cheap thinking that's led Jordan to her newest and perhaps most extreme penny-pinching plan yet. There's a new trend with backyard farming. No. I'm not gonna dog her on this one. Okay, this one's actually pretty ingenious. If you're living in a really hot climate, yo, that's actually really ingenious. Like, I'm not like, and her car would be smelling really good too. Smell like cookies and stuff. That one, I, I that one, I give a thumbs up. I would do it myself. Pat on the back. She, that's that's pretty genius. Kind of cheap, but I mean, <laughs> poor her. <laughs> Where I think we have plenty of space in the back, and we're fenced. But um, I think oh, if we no, no, hear me out. We could raise a pig and then get a ton of pork out of it. You can pay upwards of three fifty per dozen for eggs. Oh, yeah. You pay ten bucks for a chicken. Six chickens later, you're getting a half dozen eggs a day. I mean, that's incredible. That's great savings. What would our neighbors think of that? This woman is smart. And not just not just that, what she just implied and imposed on her husband, post, suggested to her husband, is the perfect way to end hunger, to be self-sufficient and to help other people become self-sufficient instead of breastfeeding them. That, that's actually a really good idea. I wouldn't call that being cheap. I would call that being self-sufficient. I'm starting to like her, what the fuck? This video is taking a turn. Our neighbors might think we're crazy, but I think we could Ooh, prove them wrong. Fuck. We could just look into it. At least you can sell your eggs. You sell your eggs to your neighbors, so extra money. Oh my gosh, look at all these chickens! Jordan he spends only 3.5% of the family's income on food, two thirds less than the national average. Today, she hopes to lower that number even further. Yeah. We're in the market for some farm animals. What do you want to look at? Well, can we start I'm with chickens? Absolutely. Okay. The research I've done has shown that. You can raise your own animals for a fraction of the cost as it would be to buy an organic package of meat or eggs or milk at the grocery store. Yeah, just hold it like this. Hold it nice and firm. Nice. Don't let it get away. So how many eggs will each chicken lay? Chicken will lay an egg about every 26 hours. Oh, that's awesome. That's like a half dozen a day. That's a lot of eggs. As soon as the chickens start squawking and making noise, her neighbors are going to be irritated with it. <laughs> Here are some goats, Hi, <laughs> especially with the goats. When they yeah, poop on her lawn, true. she's not gonna like that. <laughs> okay, so I'll definitely give a little story, do it really quick. So my grandmother had um, like 10 chickens and 10 turned into 20 and multiplied. We had a lot of chickens to the point where my grandmother made a lot of money selling them. We also made, we also got a lot of eggs from them and we had a really, Feastful Christmas. So her idea, we've actually done that. And I remember when my grandmother was building the bottom of the house, she turned that entire bottom area for the chickens. It wasn't finished yet, so it was okay to kind of do it. Although when we sold and ate all the chickens, the cleaning was not that fun. But the thing is, back in the Caribbean, your neighbors can't tell you shit. Are you crazy? You, your neighbors can make as much noise as they want and you can't tell them nothing because that's just the way it is. It's shut up. What You want a problem? Shut up. But in America, I guess, if, if you if you make too much noise and your neighbors, they can complain to you. But in the Caribbean, it doesn't exist. Just shut up.
No. Four. Um, <laughs> that would be a negative. We go through a lot of milk, and this goat is going to give us 12 bucks worth of milk a day. That's awesome. Goat milk? We actually can't have a pig where we live, but could we buy one and then just have it raised here? And then sure. we'll collect when it's big and fat? Yes. Ready for bacon? Yeah. So this baby would cost $80, then you would have to pay $30 a month in feed. At least <laughs> the baby pig's going to stay here. So we don't have to take care of it. In six months, the pages will be able to have bacon every day for a year at hundreds of dollars below store prices. And honestly, that amount of bacon, you know, that might actually oh, be worth it. Cool. But we'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I have no idea what it's gonna be like having goats and oh, chickens in our backyard. The Hopefully they can't get out. Should we let him go right here? Do you Look wanna it. pet one? They love it here. Uh. <laughs> Look at oh. that. Hey guys, this was the end of the video. I'll definitely say, when the video first started, I didn't really like her, like how cheap she was. But then as the video kept on going, it's like you can't help but just like her you know because what she's saying kind of makes sense especially the chickens she could turn it in she could turn it into business when uh, she could probably sell some other surplus to her uh, um her neighbors so yeah she can sell a surplus amount to her neighbors and make a profit off of it so i don't know I don't think she's a cheapskate anymore. Cheapskate, scape, scapes, scapes. I wouldn't call her cheap anymore. I'll call her a mom who's just trying to be self-sufficient. I don't know where the rest of the money is going to. Maybe they have expensive clothes, very lavish um, vacations with the kids. So the kids go to a very private prominent you know elite school who knows but she's just trying to make her family self-sufficient i give her a pat on the back i give her a stamp she i love her i'm not like that anyways hopefully you guys like this video please like and subscribe and i'll check in for you guys later